usa kakatawhan. Cebu Catholic Television Network. Network. Live gikan sa MTV CCTN News Center. Kini ang balita sa alas 12. Uluhan sa mga balita sa alas 12. Presidente Duterte nilibkas na sa mandatory nga paggamit ng face shield. Gikonfirmar sa Cebu City o nga wapay occupancy permit ang bagong building sa CCMC. Mayong unto ako si Dennis Tabar, kauban sa inyosang puwersa sa CCTN News Team. Kami muhatod kaninyo sa mga balita sa alas 12. Karun sa detalye sa atong mga balita, Presidente Rodrigo Duterte nilibkas na sa mandatory nga paggamit sa face shield sa outdoor Sugod kagahapong adlawa, apan nagpabiling requisito ang pagsunog ni ini sa mga dapit nga close o crowded kung naghang mga tao. Siya ningon nga iyang gimando nga sa dinariang pagluwat o pagpatuman klabot sa maong nga palisiya. Si Cebu City Emergency Operations Center Deputy Chief Implementer nga si Consul Joel Garganira nihangop sa maong nga lakang apan niawag siya nga ang tanang nga mga pampublikong sakyanan gikinahang lang mong paggamit gihapon og face shield sa tanan ng mga pasahero. Update sa COVID-19 din sa Central Visayas ang dakbayan sa Sugbo. Adunay 84 kabagong kaso kagahapong adlawa. Kini base sa report sa Department of Health, Mandawi 38, Lapu-Lapu 17, Lalawigan sa Sugbo 111, Buhol 167, Sikihor 40, Negros Oriental 244, Sakya Tibukan mabot sa 701 kabagong kaso sa coronavirus din sa Rion 7, kagahapong Adlawa. Gikonfirmar ni Cebu City Building Officials Florante Catalan nga wa pa makakuha o occupancy permit ang bagong building sa Cebu City Medical Center. Apang giklaro ni Catalan nga giproseso na kini sa engineering department. Si City Administrator Floro Casas ni Claro nga gibuksan ang maong building sa CCMC unang tulog kaanda na gumikan kay gikinahanglan pa kini alang sa COVID-19 response. Mato ni Casas nga giproseso na ang permit ni ini og dili angayan nga mabalaka ang publiko og gipaniguro sa kagamhanan sa syudad sa Subo nga luwas ang maong building Ni dubli na ang ginaganon sa mga tao nga nagparehistro sa Commission on Elections kon COMELEC diha sa Dakbayan sa Talisay. Kini subay na sa nagkaduol nga deadline sa gipatuman sa COMELEC nga karong September 30. Nasayran nga gikan sa usa ka gatos ka mga tawo ang ilang matagad matag adlaw na himo na kining 200. Hinundan nga makita ang presensya sa kapulisan ingon man ang pagdugang og mga job order employee diha sa COMELEC Talisay aron magmonitor sa mga tawo nga mudagsa sa mga ang buhatan. Negosyante ng Iranya National nga nagbugaw og pito ka mga babae na sikop sa entrapment operation ang kasayuran ni Hatod ni Arnold Bustamante. <tinyo> Nadagpan sa mga sakop sa Criminal Investigation and Detection Group si Eddie G7 ang usaka 35 anyos ka Iranian National at tulsa girusag ni Entrapid Operation sunod sa usaka mall sa North Reclamation Area sa Nakbens sa Mandawe sa kasong human trafficking. Mato ni Police Colonel Renew Dalugdog ang happy sa si Eddie G7 ngayon na usap nga na-rescue ang pito ka mga babae nga nagpangitaroon pa og 18 nga to na sa 25 anyos nga mo ibugaw sa mga lalaki nga gustong lawas ng karipay. Ado na matod pa yung may report sa nang buhatan may labot sa hita ng kapustitusyon sa Nakbens sa Napulapo ng Gipadagan sa mong langyaw nga wala lang una ng lini dalugdog tungod sa nagpalain karon nga investigasyon dito sa mong party mahitabog dayon ang transaksyon neto mga kalalakinan nga gusto ng lawas nun ng kalipay na yung matagpapahay mukhang tila kinig sa isbil ka pesos ang kalakara na ginagawa nila ay uh, kunyari i-invite nila itong mga babae na mayroong isang party and then uh, yun nga kumbaga parang Pag pupunta ka doon, automatic mayroon, pa, mayroon silang ibibigay na 1,000 pesos na i-offer. Kung mayroon namang mga customer na pwede mong maano doon, kung baga parang ikaw yung nakusundahan at uh, ito ay papasok doon sa prostitution na kung saan na sila ay nagpababayad. 
ng uh, sa halagang uh, 6,000 to 7,000. Nagsugod sa yung iligal nga kalihukan ng Iranian National sa mga tuig sa dihaga ming hinay ang iyang negosyo nga surplus company. Nabot siya sa Sugbo sa 2019 apat tungkod kayo nalugi sa negosyo o gatinguhan na niya nga mubalik silang nasod nga mahinundan nga misulod siya sa mga matang sa iligal nga kalihukan. Hindi lang nila ito ginagawa ngayon lang. Matagal na kasi itong Iran na national na pumapasok dito ay 2019 pa siya nag-start dito sa ano. Yung business naman niya dito is yung sa about doon sa surplusan. Kaya lang, medyo mahina ang income dahil nga dito sa inabot na pandemic, uh, nagsa-sideline na lang siya. Siya na yung medyo parang nagbubukaw na para uh, disparate na kasi siya. Gusto niya makakaroon ng additional income at para makabalik siya doon sa Kalapasan sa Republic Act 10364 kung expanded anti-trafficking in persons act ang atubangong kaso sa mga Iranian nasional. Samtang ang pito kababayang na narescue sa kapulisan kaya nang iturn over sa DSWD7 alang sa pagpaubos kanila sa pakisusi kung ano na ba'y pagtugod kanila ang pagbugaw sa suspitsado ng ato sa mga lalaking customer ni ini. Arnold Bustamante, CCTV News. Na kontrobersyal nga wedding coordinator nga giingong scammer ni suway sa pagkutlo sa yang kinabuhi pinagi sa paglaslas sa yang pulso ang kasayuran ni hatod ni Mary Rose Sagarino. Nanong balik ang Jonelyn Canoy taga Santa Cruz sa barangay Hagubyao sa Dakbayan sa Mandawi ang adlaw sa yang kasal ni atong Desyembre 2019 ug kalagot niya ni Anang Adlawa human makita ang viral video sa usa ka bride sa Mingla Nilia nga naghilak human giingong giscam sa yang wedding coordinator nga giila nga si Nasir Fuentes sigo ni Canoy nga 8,000 pesos ang nakuha ni Fuentes gikan sa yang money dance ug wala usab kuno bari ang duha ka litsyon nga nagkantida og 12,000 pesos Hinungdan nga nagbayad sila pagbalik sa litsyon supplier. Giingon ni Kanoy nga inay nga malipayon iyang kasal. Giingon wa nagkadimao tungod wala gitarong paghanay ni Fuentes. Matod ni ini nga nakahilak siya og naglagot sa maong adlaw. Gani pagkahuman sa iyang kasal, gilayon silang nagtawag og pulis og nagpasakag kasog estafa. Giingon na priso og usa kaadlaw si Fuentes sa Mandawi City Police Office apan nakapiansa og nakagawas ra usab sa prisohan. Oh, oh, nag oh. na pa miss reception. Mura may nag-meeting. Uh, Amo ah, siya ang i-kanang i-corner ba? Oh. Mo to pag corner niya, gi nagda nagtawag na ming pulis kay nasakpan man mo ang mga kwarta na ay pin kana ay nagian sa pin ba. Oh. Ang kuno to gibayad na koy. Oh, gipambayad so, niya sa, sa, sa sound system. Oh. Nya. Ni adto na mig kanang pulis. Pag kuan sa pulis na with kanang nanay pulis ba, nagtan-aw mi siya mga pitaka na yung mga buslot sa pin mo to na kuha na mo na kuha na mo 4-8 Sigo ni Josiel Canoy sister-in-law ni Johnny Lynn nga bisan og pipila na kabati ang iyang nadunggan batok ang Fuentes apan wala sila magtuo gumika na kailas siyang Fuentes nga kanhinidagan pagka SK officer sa Hagubyao o susama lang usab sila o barangay Kanang ngunong si Nasser yung hang coordinator yung mga Kawulo, kung ano na siya sa, sa refer sa na siya sa amiga sa akong mga hudo sa nga may nag-makeup nila. Ang kasigil lang siya, daw, ano ka dungog ah ng Nasser? Ang kawulo, wala rabaw, ang sadya na si Nasser siya. Kung saan ka na siya mangiskam, ano? Ay, ang mga, ah, sige lang, kay Silingan Raman, basin mausab siya, kay Silingan lagi. Karoon, sir, kay, <laughs> pag siya kay first time ni Nasser, naabot na rin, nashock din siya. Ang ko, ikaw di ay, ang ko, oh, pero dili mi friend ha, kanang kaila lang dito ko niya, kay nanon siya diri sa mga, ah. Kung baan siya, ko, kung ano naman si Nasser, maraman na siya, kung nga nakaila ko niya. So, sa mga na day to, ka nang dagaw na dyan, mga na day day guru yung plano ba? Kaya nakahila ko siya, nga nasagpaan dyan na na ko siya, sa kakong kalagot. Kaya nga nung liman ka, sir, money dance ako mga gikuan pa dyan niya, ha? Doon siya nakakuan, nga kung tinto, ano siya. Sigo ni Kapitan Michael Masena sa Barangay Hagubyao, nga kaniad to nga naapa si Fuentes nagpuyo sa ilang barangay. Pipila na ka mga reklamo ang ilang nadawat batok ni Ini. Si Fuentes sa iyang bahin, nagkanayon, nga nagipagsetol na siya sa magtiayon sa Mingla Nilia, o nagdumili nga muhatag pa og dugang pamahayag. Uh -huh. hmm. So but one thing is for sure, we'll settle the case, we'll reach them up. Okay. So thank you, have a great day. Si Edwin D. Guzman ang barangay tanod sa Kasili, lungsod sa Konsolasyon. Nagkanayon ng alas 10 sa buntag. Nagpakita ba ang landlady sa boarding house ni Fuentes? Human naglaslas sa iyang pulso. Gila yung girespondihan nila o gidala sa Eversley Child Sanitarium and General Hospital. Apan nagdumili nga magpa-admit o may sign o waiver. Landlady, nga naglaslas sa pulso ang iskamer. Naglaslas sa pulso niya. Karon among girespondan nga rin siya. Amo din gidaan nga ito sa buwan. 
sa kung dagang mga dugo nga ni kuan siyang kuan eh kuogi ka na mugma kuan gitu tagin mo dali para kuan Moro tong kuan nga wala 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 Miri Rosa Garino CCTN News Nokad to ato mga balita sa alas 12 sa ngat sa tanang kaubanan sa CCTA News and Current Affairs. Ako si Dennis Tabar. At ang iyang atong sayre 47 karong alas 5 sa hapon hangtod na sa alas 6 sa gabi. Up next ang Santos nga misa manukad live sa CCTA in Chapel. Daghang salamat.
This live coverage of the Holy Mass is brought to you by Mr. and Mrs. Nicolas Padillo and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and Family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and Family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and Family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and Family. In this Mass, we ask Signor Santonino de Cebu for the following intentions. For the intentions of all those who are commemorating their birthdays or anniversaries this month, and for all those who are virtually participating in this telecast and streamed celebration, and for the needs of all those who tirelessly support the apostolate of CCTN through prayer intentions, love offerings, sponsorships, and reassuring goodwill. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Brethren, let us acknowledge our sins, and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who founded all the commands of your sacred law upon love of you and of our neighbor, grant that by keeping your precepts we may merit to attain eternal life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Haggai. In the second year of King Darius, on the 21st day of the seventh month, the word of the Lord came through the prophet Haggai. Tell this to the governor of Judah, Zerubbabel, son of Shaltiel, and to the high priest Joshua, son of Jehozadak, and to the remnant of the people. Who is left among you that saw this house in its former glory? And how do you see it now? Does it not seem like nothing in your eyes? But now take courage, Zerubbabel, says the Lord, and take courage, Joshua, high priest, 
son of Jehozadak, and take courage, all you people of the land, says the Lord, and work. For I am with you, says the Lord of hosts. This is the pact that I made with you when you came out of Egypt, and my spirit continues in your midst. Do not fear, for thus says the Lord of hosts, one moment yet a little while, and I will shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all the nations and the treasures of all the nations will come in, and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord of hosts. Mine is the silver and mine the gold, says the Lord of hosts. Greater will be the future glory of this house than the former, says the Lord of hosts. And in this place, I will give you peace, says the Lord of hosts. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
From the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Once when Jesus was praying in solitude and the disciples were with him, he asked them, Who do the crowd say that I am? They said in reply, John the Baptist, others, Elijah, still others, one of the ancient prophets has arisen. Then he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Peter said in reply, The Christ of God. He rebuked him and directed them not to tell this to anyone. He said, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, the chief priests, and the scribes, and be killed, and on the third day be raised. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. In life, and as long as we live, we are faced with sufferings. Sufferings are undeniable. There are those who suffer greatly, and there are those who suffer moderately. No one indeed is exempted. And these sufferings would come in different forms as well. And for sure, we all see different forms or faces of sufferings around us. For instance, we suffer because of our own human limitations. We also suffer because of failing to accept who we are. We suffer because of putting too much pressure on our self and towards others. We suffer as well because of others' doings or expectations. We suffer because we no longer have the courage sometimes to face life's problems and difficulties. In today's gospel, we are taught that in knowing who Jesus is, the reality of suffering is part of it. For Jesus says, the Son of Man must suffer greatly and be rejected by the elders, by the chief priests, and the scribes. And Jesus is not teaching us to avoid sufferings. He rather teaches us to embrace our own share of sufferings in this life while we continue to know Him, to follow Him, to serve Him, and to love Him. And in embracing life's sufferings, our first reading would like to tell us something. Prophet Haggai is telling us, Take courage, for the Lord your God is with you. That's it, brothers and sisters. To the sufferings that may come into our life every now and then, we have to face and embrace them with courage. For like Jesus, who had been raised on the third day, we too can conquer and overcome 
life's sufferings. And so, let us all have and take courage. Life here on earth is still worth living for in the midst of the sufferings because we recognize who Jesus is and we have a God who truly suffers with us. Please rise for the prayers of the faithful. It is our faith in Jesus, the Son of God, which unites us members of this community. In His name, let us bring our intentions before the Father as we say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Pope and the bishops may keep the church in the faith of Peter. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That our elected officials may respect the right to life of the unborn, the aged, and the helpless. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That consecrated priests and religious may be faithful to their commitment to God and to the people they are called to serve. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the sick may be strengthened and persevering in their faith. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That those who have gone ahead of us in this life may enjoy a new life in God's presence. Let us pray to the Lord. God of mercy and compassion, through the merits of our Savior, hear the prayers of your church, confessing with Peter our faith in Christ, your Son, who lives with you forever and ever. Brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Receive with favor, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your people, that what they profess with devotion and faith may be theirs through these heavenly mysteries, through Christ our Lord. Amen. 
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. His death we celebrate in love. His resurrection we confess with living faith. And His coming in glory we await with unwavering hope. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jose Palma, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. 
Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and not us into temptation, and deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. But only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Of spiritual communion my Jesus I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally come at least spiritually into my heart I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you never permit me to be separated from you O oh my God, my only hope, I have placed all my trust in you, and I know I shall not be disappointed.
Let us pray. Graciously raise up, O Lord, those who renew with this sacrament, that we may come to possess your redemption, both in mystery and in the manner of our life. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Prayer to Señor Santo Nino. O Señor Santo Nino, you are our King and our God. We worship you. You are our strong defender. We turn to you. You are the patron of Cebu and the Philippines. We come to you. You have made extraordinary wonders. Through your miraculous image in these chosen islands, you remember us. Look down at this poor soul that comes to you for help. Lead us with your wisdom. Discipline us with your truth. Console us with your tenderness. Protect us with your might. We consecrate today our thoughts to you. Only with you shall they be occupied. Our words only of you shall they speak. Our sufferings that we may endure them for your sake. We beg you, Senor Santo Nino, illumine our understanding, kindle our will, cleanse our body, sanctify our soul. We wish what you wish, because you wish, as you wish, as long as you wish. Grant us, Senor Santo Nino, that we may feel love toward you, be strict toward ourselves, be zealous toward our fellow men, and rightly despise the things of the world. Help us to overcome sensuality with strict discipline, avariciousness with generosity, anger with gentleness, indolence with zealous industry. Make us wise in counsel, courageous in danger, patient in adversity, humble in prosperity. Teach us, dear Santo Nino, how worthless is the world, how sublime is heaven, how brief is time, how long is eternity. Grant us, lastly, that we may remember you, adore you, love you, and serve you here on earth. We may be happy with you forever and ever in heaven. Amen. In every need, let us come to you with humble trust. In all our doubts, perplexities, and temptations. In hours of loneliness, weariness, and trials. In the failure of our plans and hopes. In disappointments, troubles, and sorrows. When others fail us, and your grace alone can assist us. When we throw ourselves on your tender love as our only refuge. When our heart is cast down by failure. When we are ill and our head and hands cannot work and we are lonely. When we feel impatient and our cross irritates us. Always, always in spite of weakness, faults and shortcomings of every kind. Let us pray. O Santo Nino who has said, ask and you shall receive. Seek, and you shall find. Knock, and it shall be opened unto you. Give, we beseech you, to us who ask the gift of your divine love, that we may love you with our whole heart, in word and work, and never cease from showing forth your praise. Make us, O Lord, to have a spiritual, perpetual fear and love of your holy name. For you never fail to govern them whom you do so solidly establish in your love. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Concluding prayer. O miraculous Santo Nino, standing before your sacred image, we beseech you to cast a merciful look on our troubled hearts, that your tender love, so inclined to pity, be softened at our prayers. Grant us that grace for which we ardently implore you. Take from us all unbearable affliction and despair. And for your sacred infancy's sake, hear our prayers and send us consolation and aid that we may praise you with the Father and the Holy Spirit forever and ever. Amen. Oratio Imperata, merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death 
restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers, that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health, protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick. Pray for us. Saint Joseph. Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. San Roque. Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. San Pedro Calungso. Pray for us. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth. The Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Mr. and Mrs. Alfred and Julie Go and family, Dr. Jean Rafanan and family, Mr. and Mrs. Rene and Nanit Avila and family, Mr. and Mrs. Lorenzo Bok and family, Engineer Frederick and Mrs. Wanda Fekabahog and family. Music